For us, it was a reward because we did so good in school. My parents would be like, well, if you do bad in school, you're not going to Mexico. But if you do good in school, you're going to Mexico. So for us, it was rewarding. Basically, it was around the same times. Um, the other one was my actually my dad's youngest brother as well. That He was the worst one because he was my closest uncle. I can't forget what he did. There's no words to explain that one at, at all. The damage is on my personality, myself. I am very, I was, I was a very, very shy person. I didn't like to talk a lot. I wouldn't literally defend myself. But after certain years, all that just piled up too much that I didn't hand, I couldn't handle it no more. I was reminded almost every day constantly by faces, by people just sliding their hand on my back. It would just literally just bash back all of a sudden. And I would start defending myself even more, start getting more aggressive with people. Um, wouldn't let myself be talked down, um, pushed around, messed with. I wouldn't let nobody, even my parents, I wouldn't even let nobody just talk me down on anything. I felt that I was the one that called them to do whatever they did to me. I thought I was the one for blame. I thought I was going to get laughed at, screamed at, punished, that it was going to be like, oh, who cares? Um, I thought my mom and my dad would be like, well, you caused it. Why are you questioning it? You know, you're a woman. It's supposed to be done to you. Me and my mom started talking. Um, and I told her, I'm like, well, you weren't there when these three people raped me, so why should you care now? As of now, me healing, it's probably going to take a little more of a process for me because um, as a mother, you always think of your children first. I've done a lot of writing. Poetry is one of my biggest things. Writing it down has helped me a lot. It has helped me past that level that say I'm nobody just because this happened to me.